Hey there, how you guys doing? This is me, Ryan. Now, some of you know me as John Doe. Right here in um, Tokyo, Japan. Now, um, at the moment here, it's kind of late at night. But you'll see this, well, at whatever time you watch it, or whatever day you watch it. And I thought I'd come out here due to a um, highly intriguing conversation I had over a course of 48 hours with um, someone who has really got my attention and gave me a, a lot to think about, you know. And what I, I've come to realize here that we have a major problem with everything that's going on here in Japan, everything we're trying to do here, and I think it relates internationally as well, is that this um, problem of the disconnect between basic production, running business, social construct, and people. There's a high amount of alienation that goes on where people, and I would contribute this directly to capitalism, where people consider themselves to be an island and everything they do is completely separated and not connected to everything around them and everybody around them. And that people can somehow wheel what they want to happen magically. You know, without any outside influence, without any other ripple effect to anything. And that creates a massive amount of social contradiction and what that causes is that it's very difficult to achieve the goals that we want to achieve to see the type of society that we want to see we want to actualize and to basically get people to work together for things that are logically and scientifically beneficial to the individual and the reason that they have trouble seeing and understanding it a lot of times is due to individualism. Now, a lot of people misunderstand individualism. When, I'm, when, when I say something like individualism is screwing you and you need, to, you need to do away with it and smash it, they misunderstand and think that I'm saying I want to destroy you as an individual and make you just a robot. A cog in a machine. No. Individualism is the idea that you can do anything you want and it will have zero effect on anything around you. That you are somehow making choices and because you're practicing individualism, you're somehow free. Well, you're only as free as the social construct allows you to be. And it's not really a choice, it's options and available options to you. You know, people say, um, I chose to quit that last company because they weren't treating me right. And you have an option among companies to work for. You go to another company. And the situation is almost exactly the same. Only in the new situation, you it's easier for you to exploit others to get to achieve your own small individual agenda. But what really changed is nothing. Nothing at all. You still don't get the actual value of your labor. You're still not in control of your own work. And all those you work with are competition to you. And you must squash and squander other people and other people's labor and other people's value to achieve your individual agenda. So nothing changed. Just you took a different option. You didn't choose it. The social construct, the construct of, eco of the economics, the um, system is all the same. The method of organization is all the same. 
You didn't gain your freedom by leaving the overtly oppressive owner of means of production to the slightly less oppressor. Nothing changed. But you think something changed. Because your individual agenda was a bit more progressed forward. While the social construct stays the same. And it's really, really hard to get people to understand that. And this conversation I was having with this um, very highly intriguing person, we went all through that together. And we talked about case examples we've experienced and things we've seen and how you have people of influence who can get things done and a way to talk to people who do have influence but are not keen to the system. They don't like it. And how to weigh on those people and get them to organize a bit better. Because, and then it comes down to also getting people to behave in solidarity. Now, solidarity naturally leads to people behaving more collective and thinking more collective. And they will cooperate much easier together. But here's another controversial thing. You're not going to be able to do it through pure democracy. Democracy is two wolves and a sheep voting on what's for dinner. Why do you think we're going to be eating? You have to have strong leadership. And you can't have leaderless movements. Um, like in the West, uh, the leftists are getting a bit smarter. And they are getting a bit more keen of how to do things. But they want to latch on to the, this idea of having no leaders. And that's also true in Japan, especially in more rural areas. They don't want any leaders. You know? And what does that do? It creates a weak movement, a weak push, and uh, allows for zero purging of certain contradictions. It, it still has that element that we're all fighting against each other. Now, I can't speak for the person I was speaking. I was having this amazing conversation with. But I can speak for myself that in my experience with it, like these um, protests we, we have here in Tokyo. Now, where I would, these organizers are able to have these very large, pull off very large protests at times and quite impressive. It gets a lot of people talking and looking at things and it puts a lot more pressure on the political class. But then you see if in these groups, there's zero solidarity. They're only showing up these things and because there's a common cause that they all believe in. There's solidarity in that sense. But another sense of zero solidarity because they all talk about who did what and who gets credit for what and who should be here at this time, who should be here at that time. They all want to fight over it, who gets seen, who doesn't get seen. It's that individualism idea that's fucking them and fucking everything around them, and they just can't see it. And they fall back on leaderless movements. And that breaks things down, makes the disenfranchised more disenfranchised, and makes people give up and focus on the me, 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 I, 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 and give up on actually changing the social construct, changing the order of how society is organized. Uh, changing the way production is done and what type of production is done, okay? Especially when we get the nuclear power. And this is just something I wanted to speak on. Get these ideas out there for you. So, of course, there'll be a little bit of editing done in here, but most of this I've done completely unedited. So I want to hear your thoughts on this. So leave plenty of comments in the comment section below. And as always, guys, you know, from time to time, you do give me video responses and Usually I'm pretty good about responding to you if needed. And also, I just like to hear your voice. It makes the human connection a bit more stronger, so don't be afraid to give a video response if you want. So, till next time, subscribe to this channel for the first time you've seen this. And you liked it and you want to explore more, check out the past videos on the channel. But if you're already a subscriber, hey, thanks a lot as always. Thanks for continuing to take this journey with me. It means so much to me.
and spread a video, spread some videos around sometimes if you want. I remember it's me speaking, so I take I can take all the heat for it if someone uh, wants to call out and troll and or just wants to have a debate, just direct them my way. So until next time, me Ryan guys, checking out.